ds3 gaming channel but uh, today we're having an adobe premiere tutorial for some people that i know and uh, it's free for everyone else there's a free link in the description from my media fire if this one gets flagged whoever flagged it can suck a dick because it's a legit copy well <laughs> you could say legit <laughs> but uh easy to uh, install, comes with instructions, all that kind of stuff, no viruses, whatever. So let's get on to the tutorial. It's basic editing, export, stuff like that. So we'll go over, it's gonna be best settings and quick settings that I use. So new project, we're gonna go um, tutorial. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> Hit okay. The settings I use are gonna pop up right here. So what the fuck ever that is, the 1080p, and eh, just click on that. It's fine. It's gonna get changed anyways, and you guys will see how. So when it loads up, it's going slow because of the OBS recorder. So, but anyways, um, we're just gonna grab a clip from videos. So, I'm just gonna grab that one. I looked at it, that's what I want to use. So, we're gonna get rid of you. Actually, I should X that out. Right, there you go. There's that. And then I'm gonna grab the intro and the outro. Drop those in there. The first thing you wanna drop in there is going to be the gameplay. Say it's in 60 frames per second. Say change sequence settings. That's what you wanna do. It'll change it to whatever the video is. Boom, there you go. All right? So now you can drop in the intro. If I remember correctly, this intro should just end. Hit play. There we go. Yeah, this one just ends. So we'll just extend this out, find whatever clip I want. Screw it, that looks fine. The easiest way to cut stuff is just clicking that. Whenever I press C, it gets weird. So just click it and cut it. All right. Now, if you want to get rid of the audio, um, just right click it, unlink. And then you can select the audio, hit your delete key, there you go, it's gone. If you want to link stuff together, you press the shift key, link them together, uh, shift click, and then you hit link. There you go, bam, done. So uh, next thing is, uh, let's see where we're at for gameplay. It's just fucking sitting there. Yeah, skip it to... Man, I am I sitting there for so long? So long. I'm just gonna skip you all the way over there. How do I do my transitions? Right click over there, apply default transition. There you go. So we're gonna go to come on. Keep it up. I expect nothing less. It's going slow. At least I can hear the audio. That'll be fine. I'll just cut that right there. Select wherever I don't want, delete. Real simple. So glitch outro, we should drop you in there. Oops, too far. You use your arrow keys to go frame by frame. And I'm gonna link this one up to right when it starts. There it is, I missed it. All right, so this one right here, we're just gonna drop this up, drop that one down. I'm gonna slide you right in there. Too far. I think you can hit control. Don't hit control. Yeah, fight. All right. Um, the snap tool, that's gonna make it less magnet, so it's not gonna snap. You can drag it wherever you want. There you go. Click it back on, in case you wanna Keep it up. start editing I again. Nothing less. That's good enough. I'm not gonna be very picky. So there you go, there's your simple editing. Um, to do like the color corrections, even though your settings on your recorder should be perfect to where you shouldn't need to, but you go to effects, you know, uh, we'll just say color correct. So just type in color. There you go, you got a bunch of stuff you can use. You usually just use auto color if you wanna change it yourself. Like color balance would be fine. Uh, we're not gonna care about 
uh, color correction here because my color is perfect because my recorder settings are at the tip top so I shouldn't need them. Remember that guys, you should not need them if you are going to record it correctly. Next. So you, you got effects controls, that's how you control them. Mixer, free audio obviously. Metadata, don't give shit. So project tutorial has all your clips. There you go. Real simple, done. So I showed you, edit it, you drop, clip, cut, transition. So you, I want to transition the front, apply, there you go. It's there, you can't see it, but it's there. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Come on. I'm trying to do this quick, so there you go. And you can, when you zoom in, you can have this little box with red. You make your transition figure. So there you go. But I don't want that, so I'm just going to hit undo a couple times. There we go. And there you go. So let's talk about the export settings. So you're going to have the sequence selected. And you're going to go File, Export, Media. It'll pop up. Now here's what I use. Format. You want to use H.264. Alright. It's going to load up all the settings. It's going to say Android tablet. You do not want that. So this is going to be for 30 frames per second and 60. Alright. Real simple how to do this. This video will be in 30. Um, HD 1080p 29.97. Select it. Scroll down on the video. You select it. You got 30. And you got 60. I'm going to do 30. If you have a 60, use the 60. Now, if you want the best video quality you have or that you can get, you go scroll down a little bit more. It's going to be under the same thing, the basic video settings. So render at maximum depth. Click that if you want it to be very, very good. It's going to take longer and it's going to be a bigger file to upload. If you want to do a quick video, don't select it. I'm going to click it. Next one is bitrate settings. If you want to do quick video, one pass. If you want a really nice video with the best quality, two pass. Use maximum render settings. It's under all of it. Click it. Audio. Now, if you're a freak like me uh, and you record in 320 kilobytes per second, you want it to export in 320 kilobytes per second. So there you go. There's your best audio. The rest of the stuff, just don't even mess with it. Just don't. So there you go. You got this. Don't touch it. You got that. Don't touch it. So there you go. Then you hit export and just don't even have the preview on you can hit the use previews and this will preview what you got done but there's really no point so select the preview off it'll go quicker and it go quicker there you go so yeah two ways all right so there you go uh, remember free link in the description and like and subscribe peace out one two three enter the foe easy motherfucking e with the chrome to your dome chrome to your dome chrome to your dome chrome to your chrome to your dome 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 chrome to your dome